motherfucker. Right here. Right here, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of Granddad Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews Game Data. Today we got a PC game review today. We're going to be talking about the newest and hopefully final installment in a PC horror franchise that I just can't fucking stand. This nigga's back. Fuck Freddy. But I had to holler at it anyway. Talking about Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yes, 4. God damn it, Scott. Just stop it. Please. Please, please just stop. I don't know. For those who don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's is a horror game that's been out for some time and it's made by this nigga named Scott Cawthon who just keeps churning out games, but rightfully so, the nigga's making paper over paper over this shit. So now he's got the fourth installment and in this game, it's kind of a twist and a little bit of a different variation on the franchise and the story as well as a more beefed up and scarier version of it is what he says. He's pretty much said that this game is the scariest of all the games. And if you guys have seen my previous two reviews of the last two Five Nights at Freddy's games, you would know that I'm not too much of a fan of this franchise, but I do respect the hustle. So now the fourth one's here, so let's talk about this shit and see if number four can win me over. Now, unlike the first three Five Nights at Freddy's games, this one's not set in like a pizza parlor or a kid's fucking play area where fucking terror shit happens and you're some security guard and you gotta listen to some bitch on the phone tell you what you gotta do through the night but don't wanna fucking help you. On this one, you're actually a little fucking kid and you're in your room and these fucking animatronics are in the goddamn house. Well, actually, they're little plush dolls of it, but they transform into the demonized animatronic versions of these fuckers and you gotta survive through the night up to 6 a.m. and all you got is a fucking flashlight and your dreams of living to see another goddamn day. Now on here it's a little bit different as well as because now you don't have to really worry about looking at cameras. You just have two doors to look at and a closet. That's pretty much it. But here's the thing. Looking at those closets and then those doors, there's different variations of how these monsters and shits can get you. You can also look behind you because there's a motherfucking Freddy Fazbear on your bed. So you got four things you have to constantly look at and instead of looking at cameras and which way things are going, you have to listen for things like breathing and sound shuffling and where they're, you know, gonna be at and, you know, how you gotta fucking... This, that's a lot of bullshit you gotta do. I'm still figuring things out. It's still not as easy as the first games to really pick up on and it really gets right into the jump scares. The scares here are more scarier the fucking animatronics here look way more fucking deadly like these motherfuckers have been through fucking nightmare fucking school and just fucking beefed up they got sharp ass teeth and shit and they fucking just prey on you and they go in your kitchen and eat your goddamn food and don't fucking fucking pay you back and they fucking watch your tv and they shuffle around your house and they ain't paying the goddamn light bill so everything's dark what the fuck and where's your parents you gotta know where the fuck is the parents this motherfucking kid is by himself in his house with these shits I don't know why they are just letting him live in this house when he knows this shit's going down. And we don't get to know too much about this kid. All we know is that there's a party that's happening within five days and the kid has to last those five days until the party. And then I think those fucking plush animatronic shits are fucking moved off to somewhere else. But between that, he has to survive through the nights. In between that, they have little mini games in this edition where in between levels you can actually do a two hour jump if you stop this little fucking foxy looking type plus thing from attacking you and you have it landing on an X at one time. It's fucking hard as hell to do. I couldn't do it and I fucked up the first time I tried to do it. But if you can do it, it gives you a two hour jump. On top of that, they also have different animatronics that they've never ever had before. So there's some new motherfuckers on the scene as well as the original OGs there. So it's a lot of new things, a lot of new elements, a lot of new story involved, but it's still the same scary factor. The jump scares are crazy. And you really don't know what to expect next when you're playing these levels. So the level of paranoia and fear is really there, especially during like, the whole night you're playing it. So it makes it really, really fun, but also really, really nerve wracking because you don't know when the next motherfucker's gonna show up. Now I know you guys wanna see some goddamn gameplay. You you know I got the shit. Click the fucking screen. It's on my Gaming with the Granddad channel. I just dropped it today. And you can see me go through night one. I made it through night one and then I made it to night two. And that's when shit got super real, super fucking fast. But it's pretty dope. I don't know. I might play the game some more. But, you know, I got to calm myself because the shit gets a little too intense for me. They just took it to a whole fucking new level. But if you want to see it, click the screen. Also check the description. It's there. But for the most part, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 keeps true to its original form. It just puts it in a different package. And it actually works a little bit better for me. I like this game a lot more than... In the first three i guess it's because it's more scarier the atmosphere is different and it is a lot more difficult but i found myself not being as frustrated with it at least not yet I probably because i'm only at night two but at the same time i still can't stand that motherfucker freddy 
fuck that nigga. But I do see that they're trying to improve the game, and Scott himself is improving the game as far as designing it and actually expanding it and not giving us more of the same, which I do appreciate. But for the most part, it's another Five Nights at Freddy's game, just a lot more scarier, a lot more darker, and now you're a fucking child, and that's so goddamn cruel. Please find this kid's parents because they, they need to get their asses whooped for letting this motherfucker stay in the house like this. That's fucking crazy shit. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is a super scary addition to an already super scary fucking franchise with a new and revitalized story and look to it. All I'm saying is that the jump scares are more intense. The fucking setting is more intense. You're a fucking child now and not some bitch ass security guard. So you kind of feel for the kid and just the whole element of being in a house with these fucking animatronics and they're just going all over the place and you don't know what to do. The fucking scare factor is crazy on that shit. And I really appreciate how Scott enhanced the game. It looks better, it plays smoother, and it's just got a new element to it that really doesn't lend to the previous games, but does keep those core elements that makes the game fun and scary and entertaining. So all I gotta say for me is that Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is still not fucking granddad approved, but I knock it up just a bit to a very highly granddad recommended. So go check it out. The game's out now. It was supposed to come out in like fucking October, but you know how Scott is. He'll just drop the shit on you anytime he fucking feels like it. So it's on the Steam store. And if you can also find a fucking torrent site, I'm going to just say it because you know niggas is doing it. Just find a game any way you can, but buy it. Just support, just support the guy, I guess. I mean, he, fuck Freddy, but support the dude. But that's all I got to really say. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. It's very highly granddad recommended. Good job, I guess, Scott. You made me a little bit more likable to your game. Flip it. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 if you played it. If you haven't played it, go check it out. It is a very scary game and then with the new elements, it really makes it like a new revitalized look. And I like the shit. I mean, fuck Freddy still. He's still, I don't fuck with him still, but I mean, the game not that bad. Previous video was on the side as well as my music video. Check those out, show them some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below, Will of Reviews, twice a week, gaming channel, check that out, especially this gameplay because it's fucking dope and I got nothing more to say. So until next time I take my leave, granddaughter, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, fuck Freddy, but not as much. You know what, fuck it, yes, it's just the same, but the game's dope. I'm out of here.